All right. So we got our steel and we got our plastic. We should be able to make an aqua tuner and a steam turbine to create a cooling loop for our base. Get excited. To fill this area up with, with water, right? Is that too much space? That's the question. Is it that too much space? Uh, we want to make sure we're building this uh, this aqua tuner out of steel so that it doesn't overheat. We can't have our aqua tuner overheating. So let's look steel. Beautiful. Okay. Perfect. So next we want to look at power. All right, we're going to have a steam turbine here. So we're going to want to make sure that I think we make this this little area down below um, wide enough, right? Let me cancel this out. All right, so we'll get all this built and we'll fill up these two areas with water. That works. Now eventually we'll get rid of this pipe and use this pipe on the return trip. We're going to have to get over to the side here. That we want to get this last bedroom as well. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to need to figure out a way of getting around all this water stuff, right? We got a lot of pipes in the way. So when it leaves the green, it's going to want to come back this way. So by using just a bridge anywhere. So using a bridge anywhere, it should s never allow it to do that. So we just need a bridge somewhere to set the direction. So something like this. So by using a bridge there, right, the water should never want to come back up this way. It should never have the opportunity to come back up this way. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So let's. Oh, now we're doing it. Okay. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna bump this stuff up. I think that's part of it. Priorities kind of screwed up, and they're not really focusing on doing this work. They should be. I'm kind of tired of waiting on them. So our hatches are important, but I mean, come on, come on. It's a cooling loop. Okay. So what we're doing currently is we're filling up our aqua tuner room. Our little aqua tuner area here um, so that we can take the water that turns to steam from the aqua tuner running into steam power and you know to help keep this whole thing running using salt water for it so that looks better right much better down to 21 degrees Awesome. So I think we're good there. Perfect. Okay. Super important. Um, and we we learned that um, how powerful a cooling loop can be. Because I mean, we were up like around 32 degrees around here. We got already down to 26, 24, and even it's up to it's down to 30 up here when it was up to like 34 before. Let's look at these temps one more time. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful.